Querétaro, Mexico is full of vibrant spaces. We are going to take you on a tour of our favorite ones. By the end, you will know exactly where to go to find the hidden gems on your own visit. Our first full day is today and we're sitting out here in this beautiful courtyard at the hotel. We had a great breakfast and we've been kind of planning our first day. So what we've noticed is as we've gone to look for a place to exercise, we've researched all the parks and community places and spaces they have here and they're everywhere and they look really beautiful. So we're going to go out today and explore those. Over the course of the first day and subsequent days in the city, we mapped out this walking tour. We found that it gave us the best introduction to the heart of El Centro. Follow us along in the adventure and feel free to use this as your own guide. There is more information in the video description. We strongly recommend that you start your tour, as we did, at the heart of it all, Plaza de Armas. It's a bustling town square, and there are tour guides and information booths around it. Surrounded by 18th century architecture, the square represents a good point from which to view the city's colonial manors and mansions. The square's central fountain is topped by a statue of Juan Antonio, the nobleman and benefactor who founded so much of the city's development, including the aqueduct that you will see later. From there, follow the main pedestrian street east, you will pass the Museo de los Conspiradores, which celebrates the origins of the War for Independence. You will also pass the popular chocolate factory, but we will save that for another video. Make sure and walk slowly and take in the sights like we did, including the many shops, fountains, and stunning architecture. Soon you will come across one of the most recognized images in Querétaro. It's a statue of a dancing Chichimeca native representing a city as a crossroads of cultures. Also located in the heart of the city, Jardin Xenia is a very colorful and sometimes crowded place, but it can also be peaceful. We love sitting beneath the leafy trees and admiring the elegant garden. Xenia Garden is the largest popular attraction center, so we loved people watching there. It hosts a variety of cultural events, so we would frequently sit around the bandstand to enjoy music. The fountain in its center replaced one that is said to have been melted down in 1867 to manufacture cannons. The statue of Hebes is now in the center of the fountain. She is the goddess of youth and of the lasting joy of life. Right next to Jardin Xenia is a small plaza-like space with the Monumento a la Corredora. It's a 1910 statue of a heroine of Mexican independence, Josefa Ortiz, bearing the flame of freedom. It's an impressive and inspiring sight, and there's usually lots of activity here most days. Plaza de la Constitución is the most modern area of the historic center of Querétaro, with sculptures and underground parking. The land where Constitution Square is located was originally part of the vegetable garden and other buildings of the Convent of San Francisco. The plaza that you see now was remodeled in the late 90s. From here we headed east to get the best view of the aqueduct. So we've been walking all day trying to explore the city, get a feel for the layout of the city. And right now we're at Mirador de los Arcas. It's a great spot where you can really get a great view of the aqueduct. This is by far one of the best views in the city and is a major selfie opportunity. So be sure to make your way here. Afterwards, walk up the steps to the Pantheon de los Caritanos Ilustres. It dates back to 1847 and pays homage to the great historical figures of the city and of Mexico, including teachers, artists, and architects, among others. Here I'm going to reveal a hidden gem. If you have the energy to do it, then take the extra 10 minute walk to Parque Busquez del Ecuador. This allows you to have an up-close and personal view of the aqueduct itself. There is also a remarkable butterfly garden, and if you want an additional workout after your walk, 
then there is an unusually complete set of exercise equipment. Now we are at my favorite Caretro space by far. Alameda Hildargo is a beautifully maintained ornamental park and it's the ideal place to take a walk under the shade of the leafy trees and admire the fountains. It began with the planting of trees in 1796 while still under Spanish rule. It is named after Miguel Hildargo, who's considered the father of the nation. If you are looking for a place to exercise while in Caretro, then this is your best option. You can walk or run, and there is even a skateboarding area. So one of the things we wanted to do when we were tired and traveled a lot was to make sure that we maintain our level of fitness, uh, especially since we're going to probably be eating more than ever before. And drinking more. And drinking. <laughs> that is so true. Uh, so with every new city that we're going to go to, we're going to try to find a spot like a park or plaza or city center where we can find a place to exercise. We have found this particular spot where we worked out, we just finished a Peloton workout, right over here by the fountains in the skate park. It's uh, really beautiful. Most of the area is, is for, you know, the, the plants and the grass, so they have it a little bit blocked off with a lot of course benches and walking spaces and that kind of stuff. But over here we found a spot um, right on the street where we can actually set our uh, Peloton app up. If you want another Instagram ready moment, head over next to Plaza Mariana de las Casas. This beautiful square was constructed in 1964 to give a wide view to the most beloved of the colonial buildings and to honor its architect, Ignacio Mariana de las Casas. We've been walking through Centro and we just came across this beautiful uh, plaza with, as you can see behind us, the Caretro uh, name and writing against this beautiful church and fountain here. Uh, we've been walking for an hour or two today on day two and it's been beautiful and we just wanted to kind of stop in here and check it out. Really cool. While you're here, you must head around to the side to check out the fountain. It was built in the first half of the 18th century. This used to be a road that pilgrims traveled, so the fountain quenched their thirst as they continued on their journey. It's time for the last stop on our itinerary, Jardin Guerrero. This square is known as a meeting point for lovers and artists who meet among the perfectly shaped trees and majestic fountain. There is a market that frequently pops up on weekends where you can buy some great souvenirs and watch the kids play. That's it for this itinerary. Join us on our next video as we share more about this amazing city. Thank you so much for watching our video and please don't forget to like and subscribe. Also, check out our interactive Google map that tracks the locations where all of our videos take place. Finally, check out our merchandise store where you can create fully personalized t-shirts, greeting cards, mugs, and more, all of which help support the growth of our channel. See you next time.